Linux Mint 22.2 Zara enters public beta. Linux Mint 22.2 Zara is now in public beta, offering users an early look at new features and improvements before the final release. Linux Mint 22.2 Zara is now available for public beta testing as of today, giving users an early look at what's coming in the next point release. The beta is based on Ubuntu 24.04.3 LTS and ships with a newer hardware enablement, HWE, kernel for broader device support. At the foundation, Mint 22.2 adopts Linux kernel 6.14 HWE, which should improve compatibility with recent CPUs, GPUs, Wi-Fi adapters, and storage controllers compared to the 6.8 kernel used in 22.1. This aligns the distro more closely with Ubuntu's LTS enablement stack while preserving Mint's desktop focus. One of the headline additions of the upcoming Zara release is native fingerprint authentication via a new in-house tool called Fingwit. Once enrolled, fingerprints can be used to log in, unlock the screen, run sudo, and approve admin dialogues, Pexec, a real quality of life boost for laptops with built-in readers. On the desktop side, Cinnamon version 6.4.8 gains better Wayland readiness, with work aimed at input methods and keyboard layouts, so day-to-day -day usage is smoother in sessions where Wayland is enabled. As of today, however, Cinnamon remains mainly X11 first. On the aesthetic side, the default Mint Y theme picks up a cooler, steely blue tint that modernizes the gray base without abandoning Mint's recognizable look. Additionally, accent color support and improved Libadvata slash flatback compatibility help Gnome slash GTK4 apps blend better with the rest of the desktop. Cinnamon's application launcher is also being revamped with a cleaner layout, an expanded side panel that shows full names for pinned apps and standard home folders and relocated session controls. As always, Cinnamon's menu applet choices remain flexible for those who prefer alternatives. Under the hood and around the edges, you can expect the usual round of refinements across Mint's X-Apps and tooling, plus additions updated to current desktops, Cinnamon, X, and Mate, packaged for the 22.2 base. Once released, Linux Mint 22.2 Zara, like the rest of the 22 X series, inherits long-term support to 2029, keeping it a safe choice for users who value stability. If you're eager to try it, the public beta is live now with ISOs available for download from Mint's mirrors. Lastly, given how things usually go with Mint, the beta phase typically runs for about three to four weeks of public testing. In other words, assuming no major snags show up, we can reasonably expect the final stable release sometime by late August, or at the latest, early September. Thank you.